Hello everyone. So today our topic is how to create the Angular user from JotForm submission. So today our objective is that whenever we get a new form submission in JotForm, we want to use details to create a new user in Zendler. For that, we are going to create an integration between JotForm and Zendler. For creating this integration, we are going to use Public Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Public Connect, we are going to use triggers and actions. In trigger application, we will be using JotForm. In action application, we will be using Zendler. So how I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we have Zendler and JotForm. So as all we know, Zendler is a platform which has many features like live streaming, marketing via emails, web hosting, learners, teachers, and more. It makes setting up and starting up your online school very simple. It can host your websites and blog. You can also integrate funnels, payment, emails, and even a blog. And on the other hand, we have JotForm, which can create new forms for our websites, and it requires zero coding. So today our objective is that whenever we get a new form submission in JotForm, we want to create a new user in Zendler. For that, we are going to create an integration between Zendler and JotForm. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. Here we can see we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. And if you already have an account, you can just sign in. And it will take us to this page where we can see all the tools that Pabli offers. Here we are going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And it will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section. And we will see all the workflow that we will create here. And this is the folder section and we can create a new folder from here and we can save our workflow in any particular folder that we want. We are going to create a new workflow here. So for that, I'm going to click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. For that, I'm going to use my objective, which is create Zandler user for JotForm submission. And now I will select the folder where I want to save my workflow in, which is home. So I will click on create. and it will take us to the most important window of my workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which my workflow works on. So trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is the first step that gets executed in my workflow and action just follows that. So here I'm going to set up my trigger and my trigger application will be JotForm. So I will search for JotForm. I will click here. Now I need to give a trigger event. For that, I will open this tab and I will select this. So this will trigger on new response. So I will select this. So new response is my trigger event. And now I have to connect my JOT form and Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to use this Webhook URL. So this is going to work as a bridge between JOT form and Pabli Connect. So for connecting JOT form and Pabli Connect, you need to follow all this instruction. So I will just copy this and I will go to JotForm and here we can see we have this form which has name, email, phone number and address. And to connect my account, I need to go to settings. I will go to integrations and here I will search for webhook. I will open this. I need to paste that webhook that we have copied. So I will clear this and I will paste it here. I will click on complete integration. And my integration is ready. So I will click on finish and let's go back to public connect. Here we can see it is waiting for webhook response. So for getting a response, we need to fill that form. So let's go back to JOT form. And this is the form. Let's publish. I will open this in a new tab. And here I'm going to fill dummy details. My first name will be new. My last name will be dummy. So my email will be new dummy user at the rate pablitudes.com. Now I will give a random phone number. So my phone number will be 8888 and so on. 
so for address i will give a city which will be bhopal and a country which is india so i'll click on submit so my form is submitted let's go back to public connect and here in the response we can see we have this response let's check it out so the country is india the city is bhopal and this is the random phone number 8888 and the email is new dummy user at the red pavlitudes dot com. So the last name is dummy, first name is new. So what we need is we need to use these details to create a new user in Zandler. For that we need to create our actions tab. So I will open this tab and I will search for my action application which will be Zandler. I will click here and I need to give an action event. So I will open this and add new user will be my action event. So I will click here. Now I will connect my account. So I'll click on connect and I will click on add new connection. And here we can see we have these two options, API key and school slash account. So for connecting my Zendler account with Public Connect, I need to fill these two details. So for getting the API key, I need to follow this. So I will go back to my Zendler account. I will go to site. I'll scroll down and I will go to developers and here we can see we have this option API key. I'll click here. I will reset my API key and I will copy this API key and I will go back to public connect and I will paste it here. So my API key is ready. Now I need to give a school slash account name and we can find this in my URL. So let's go back to Zandler. And here in the URL, we can see we have this. So this is my school or account name. I will simply copy this. I will go back to public connect and I will paste it here. So my details are filled. I will click on save. And I have connected my account. Now I have these details and I need to fill all these details to create a new user. For that, I'm going to use mapping. So mapping is a technique through which we can retrieve data from previous tabs and we will get new data in the real time and these data will get exchanged with the real time. Now I will first map the first name for mapping. I'll click here. I will click here and open the previous tab and here I will search for first name. Similarly, I will do this for the last name. I'll fill the email and here in the choose role, I will select lead. As we are creating this new user for lead, we don't need to give password. Now I will map the phone number. Similarly, I will map the address. So we have city. So I will fill the city and the country. So we have filled all these details. We have first name, last name, email. We have the role. We have phone number, city and the country. Now I'm going to click here on save and send text request button. And this says people added successfully. So this has created a new user in Zandler. To check it out, let's go back to Zandler. Let's go to site. And in the people, let's go to all. Let's refresh this. And here we can see we have this new user, which is new dummy. Let's open this. So we have this new user. So the name of new user is new dummy. Email is new dummy user at the rate pablitudes.com. City is Bhopal, country is India, and this is the random phone number. So we can see these are the, all the details that we have filled in our JOT form. So let's go back to public connect. And here we can see our workflow is working successfully. So let's check it out again. I will fill another form. So I will go back to jot form. I will open this in new tab. So these are the new details. Name as newly, last name is added, and email is newly added at the red And this is the phone number 7777. And address city is Bhopal, country is India. And I will click on submit. Now I will directly go to Zandler. And I will I will open this all people. And here we can see we have this new user, which is newly added. So I will open this name is newly added. And we have this email newly added at the red role is lead. 
city is bhopal country is india and this is the phone number so we can see our integration is working successfully and whenever we are submitting a new form in jot form a new user is getting created automatically in our zandler let's go back to public connect so here we can see our integration is working successfully and let's summarize what we did here first we have set up our trigger and our trigger application was jot form and our trigger event was new response then we have set up our action and our action application was zandler and our action event was add new user so i have created this workflow successfully and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that i did in my workflow and i will also put the link of this workflow in my description so you can check it out from there thank you not just these application you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using public connect if you need any help or if you have any doubt you can email us at support@republic.com if you have any queries you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of pabli you can connect on this link and if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you